So we're going to take a, this is a 2SE die head, the 50R uh, die head is the same, will be the same process for if you took it apart, how to put it back together. So first we'll start by taking out the dies. There we go. Next we're going to take these out, which take a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. Now this thing's going to be under some tension, so get that relieved. Then you can pull this thing off of here. So these two, the retaining ring and the scroll plate, both come off together. You can tell it's still attached. And this is where you want to be careful when you take it apart, because there's a spring in there that goes in this groove this way and then binds up with this screw where you can see the bottom of it's poking out a little bit. So nothing like that. But this is usually what comes flying. So these two little screws sit in the end like that. You take this thing, lay it back in the groove. You want to make sure that if you're, this part is facing you, the, this is to the right of you, that there's a gap at the top of this or else you're going the wrong way. When I put this back together, because this is going to sit right in here. So this is probably the easiest way since these are machined together. Set that thing back down on top of there like that. And then put this thing over here like so. You gotta take this thing and rotate it so it fits in there. About a quarter of a turn so you can feel pressure on it. And get one of these started back in it. And then you should be able to feel tension on this so it rotates back. And if it don't, then that means that you didn't rotate this far enough. And that's it, how you take it apart and put it together.